Hi, meet again with Field Vet on this channel. I will display a case of poultry disease, Newcastle diseases on young brown chicken. Five weeks old, with a high mortality rate. The case occurred in a chicken pullet farm. The Newcastle disease virus attacked the young chickens around the fourth week. Chickens looked suddenly depressed, at that time began to show respiratory symptoms and death increased five days later. Some chickens have nerve symptoms and an extreme anatomical lesion is found in dead chickens. This flock previously suffered from gumbaro at three weeks, but only a small number of chicken deaths. Entering the fourth week found some chickens suffering from mild coccidiosis, followed by outbreak Newcastle disease, starting from a pen, to spread to another pen at week five. Until this video is made, the chicken mortality rate is still high enough. 300 to 350 chickens per day from the population of 20,000 chickens. And 50% of other chickens exhibit clinical respiratory symptoms. Hopefully this case can be resolved as soon as possible. In this video you can observe various clinical symptoms by the infection of ND virus that we have recorded in this flock. Before you see it, please support us by click the subscribe button, or, by click like icon, or share icon below, we will always provide other useful information from the field about the latest cases of poultry diseases symptoms, as a case study material. This is one of the nerve symptoms that can be observed in the case of Newcastle disease. Many variations of nerve symptoms can be found in this case, this one of them. Each form of nerve symptoms is found in different periods of infection or at different levels of immunity. Watch this video to the end. Maybe this is just a glimpse of the case study of the many cases of outbreak Newcastle disease I have observed in the field, especially in young pullet chickens. High mortality rates occur when the infection began to occur by week 3 to 5. Why did this happen? In commercial chicks, all chicks are DOC, have high immunity to various diseases including Newcastle disease inherited by the parent. But over time, this heritage of immunity decreases until week 3 or to 4. Immunity from the mother is no longer able to sustain infection from the field. So to overcome this, the chicks need to be vaccinated in order to make their own immunity. To the diseases before, immunity from the parent drops to a very low level. All breeders vaccinate their chickens, including this farm. On this farm, the chickens have been vaccinated in the first week with MD vaccine, kill vaccine and live vaccine, eye drop. 
we cannot expect much from the effectiveness of vaccinations in the first week. We cannot expect a high antibody titer from vaccination done in the first week. This is a commercial chicken, the presence of maternal deliver antibody or inherited immunity from the mother greatly affects the results of the vaccination that performed in the first week the failure of antibody formation is very high. Unless we expect little local immunity initiated by live vaccine. This is what distinguishes the results of vaccination in SPF chicken and commercial chicken. Moreover, many breeders can only vaccinate with vaccine kill in the first week with half dose. So, even if the chicken has been vaccinated in the first week, but at week 3 or to 4 humoral immunity is not good. So booster vaccination needs to be done. The schedule of second vaccination or booster vaccination is varies in the field. Breeders rare checking for antibody titers to determine the vaccination schedule. Many breeders do it before week 3, other breeders do it after entering the fourth week. The schedule can be later too fast. At this flock the second ND vaccination with live vaccine was done on day 26. At third week some chickens problem with gumbaro. This can lead to other vaccination failures. Then, if, if the second vaccination or booster fails, this will be a big problem. Because the second vaccination is as a hope to compensate. For the weakness of the first vaccination and decrease of MDA level at week 3 or week 4. Immunity of week 4 is expected to be from this second vaccination. But if this fails, by many factors, so this often leads to high mortality rates. If Newcastle disease that often occurs at weeks 4 and 5. So, the second vaccination is very important and crucial. Make sure it works. It should be like this picture, the expected immunity if the second vaccination goes well. At week 4, immunity is better and reaches the expected tighter level. And the results of vaccination of the kill vaccine, that has been done in the first week, has also produced little antibody. Unless there is an immunosuppressive disease or vaccine neutralization reaction by MDA, Many factors cause vaccination failure, such as tight vaccination schedule between other vaccines and excessive stress effects on chicks. And in conventional farming, gumbaro disease becomes an immunosuppressive disease, and it opens opportunities for other diseases come in. Gumbaro and coccidiosis are the biggest problems in young chickens. These are the two diseases that have the highest incidence rate in the field. For these information, see our other videos about coccidiosis and gumbaro. Yes, the solution is, bosicularity is the most important thing. Please continue to watch this video until the end. A variety of clinical symptoms of Newcastle disease in young pullet chickens. And please support us in order to provide other useful information by click the subscribe button below. Thank you.